Hi everyone, I'm Rachel E, and I am a pharmaceutical scientist. I'm also the director of the pharmaceutical science program and the deputy head of research of NUS Pharmacy. Do you know how I got here? Really to go back to the 1990s when I have just graduated from junior college. Then I have been a triple science student all my life. And like many of my friends, my goal was to get into medicine. It didn't matter that later on in life that I discovered that I lose consciousness when I watch doctors sink the scalpel into the skin on TV. It also didn't matter that I later realized that what I am really interested in is how medicines are being discovered, how drugs are made and packed and sold in the world. So I have traveled around the world getting a PhD in the United States, working as a research scientist in France and coming back home to teach. The other interesting fact about me is that I have never intended to become a professor. All I knew about myself was that I am always restless, always asking why and how, and enjoy working out solutions and options to problems. I like to choose my own adventure. You are probably feeling the same way at this point in your life. You know what subjects you like and don't, but you can't quite decide what you want to be, at least professionally. I would like to present to you our pharmaceutical science program as a potentially exciting option for your future career. Let's begin by watching a short clip on our program. The Department of Pharmacy has an outstanding history of delivering high quality education and research. Not only will students learn from our experienced academics, they will also interact with industry leaders throughout the course. This is one of our strengths, having well-established links with the industry and alumni. Such interactions allow students to gain valuable insights on real-world issues and gain a better understanding of their career paths. Plus, they are not limited to a local experience as they have a wide range of overseas exchange programs to choose from to broaden the intellectual and social horizons. The Bachelor of Science in Pharmacy program is the gateway towards registration as a pharmacist in Singapore. On the other hand, the Bachelor of Science Pharmaceutical Science program focuses on the foundational and the scientific principles behind the use of medication. It comprises a range of scientific subjects that deal with the various aspects of pharmaceutical substances and is tailored specifically to groom graduates for career in the pharmaceutical industry. This is a four-year direct honours course and it will introduce um, students to foundations in pharmaceutical sciences. Graduates from this new program will be equipped with a broad skill set and be able to embark in a dynamic range of careers. Graduates will have excellent prospects in areas as diverse as research and development, manufacturing, sales and marketing, regulatory affairs, quality management and clinical trial management. Depending on each graduate's interest, you may also find employment in areas outside the pharmaceutical industry, such as biotechnology, consumer healthcare, patenting and licensing, medical writing, or even become the next generation of healthcare entrepreneur. Singapore is a leading biomedical science uh, hub in the region. Uh, many global pharmaceutical companies have established R&D, commercial and manufacturing operations in Singapore. We're looking for individuals with a solid technical depth that can operate both across the technical and commercial environment. These individuals need to be versatile and adaptive to the changing commercial and regulatory environment we operate in. The pharmaceutical industry is exciting because we are focused in innovation and science. We want to have exceptional clinical outcomes to transformational science and transformational medicine. Therefore, it is a very interesting and it's a very a purposeful industry and it's an industry that is constantly looking for talents to join us. I think this program is great because it is a reflection of what the industry or what the healthcare needs and it's also about what Singapore needs. 
Well, the industry is experiencing a technology revolution and there is a fundamental shift in the way new drugs are discovered and developed. It is important that we embrace these changes to move new and innovative therapies for better well-being. There are elements in this new program that will prepare students for these exciting changes. The curriculum is flexible, is broad-based and grounded in the sciences. The solid foundation in the sciences will support our exploration in the pharmaceutical science. At the same time, students get to plan their own learning and pursue other academic interests, such as business, forensic science, or analytical chemistry, just to name a few. And this versatility and adaptability is much prized and prepares them for a variety of career opportunities even beyond the pharmaceutical industry. Well, the pharmaceutical science program is housed within the Department of Pharmacy. We are the only pharmacy school in Singapore with a history of 116 years. And we are excellent in our expertise and continue to be ranked very highly in the world in terms of pharmacy, pharmacy education and research. And at any one point in time, we have approximately 1,000 students housed under various undergraduate and postgraduate programs. Of interest to you today, uh, we are going to talk about the Bachelor's of Science, Pharmaceutical Science Honours Degree, which was launched in 2018. You would also like to know that should you join us in August this year, you would become the pioneer batch who will graduate from the new College of Humanities and Sciences, let's call it CHS in NUS. While the overall CHS curriculum is structured to allow students to declare their majors in one to two years, please note that pharmaceutical science is however a direct admission course in the college. That is to say that you will have to state pharmaceutical science as your first major at the point of NUS application. Earlier on, I introduced myself as a pharmaceutical scientist. You are probably wondering by now exactly what it is. Simply put, a pharmaceutical scientist is a qualified expect, expert in aspects of the science and technology of medical products. This includes, but is not limited to the discovery, development, manufacture, regulation, and utilization of medical products. Embracing how medicines work, how safe and effective products are brought to the market, the impact on the body and effect on the prevention and treatment of disease. But you are probably thinking, what exactly does the pharmaceutical industry entail? Do you really need to take a major to learn this field? The answer is yes, of course. It is highly complex and it involves several distinct stages. We can trace the industry according to how a drug is developed. First, there is discovery. It begins with a problem, for example, a disease, and then an idea to solve the problem. Then there are many aspects of research to uncover a suitable medication to address the problem. Then comes the development phase, while we characterize the product further to see if they are safe and effective. With some level of assurance, this development is then taken into clinical trials to make sure that the product are indeed giving us the desired responses in patients. With that comes the delivery of the product, which is to take it through the regulatory process. And finally, it is given to patients. With approval, a large part of the industry will be devoted into the scaling up of the manufacturing process, quality assurance, distribution and logistics, sales and marketing, medical affairs, and so on. We put a lot of glamour into the beginning, which is the discovery part, and the end, which is the doctoring part. But to be honest, everything that is in the middle is also just as important to ensure the cure gets out there in the first place. And therefore, the expertise that is needed to drive this industry is diverse and deep. And the right people that can fit into this sector is what we consider as pharmaceutical scientists. Then we need to ask if this knowledge is relevant to where we are in Singapore. 
this pharmaceutical landscape graphic gives us a quick snapshot of the footprint of the industry in Singapore. It was in the mid 1990s that our government decided to make pharmaceutical manufacturing a key area for the country to focus on. And in the years since, the industry has gone from strength to strength, evolving to include biological products and many other functions beyond manufacturing, such as regulatory, medical affairs, supply and logistics, sales and innovations. We are now home to more than 50 biopharma manufacturing facilities, including plants owned by eight of the world's 10 biggest pharma firms. And a wide range of pharma company headquarters, many of them regional bases and clusters. The country's biopharma industry employs about 24,000 people, accounts for nearly 20% of our manufacturing sector and one fifth of our GDP. Another fun fact, Singapore is one of the few countries in the world that exports more pharmaceuticals than it imports. As you can see from this graph, the, the red bars shows the exports and the green the imports. You can see how much more we export than import. And a large portion of packaged medicines we received from overseas have actually spent their early lives in Singapore. You may also be wondering how long is this glorious picture that I have painted going to last? Will it ever become a sunset industry like textile and shipbuilding? I do not think so. Despite the numerous downturns such as the financial crisis, SARS and now COVID, the industry has time and again shown its resilience and robustness. This is an economic pillar that suits Singapore best, being light on physical space, light on labor, but heavy on talents and technology. We have built world-class infrastructure for bioscience R&D and manufacturing to ensure continued external investments. On top of that, the aging population has caused an increased demand for medications globally and locally. The form of the industry has also changed with drugs shifting away from small chemicals into proteins and DNA-based biotech products. The way pharmaceutical industry is run is also changed with greater emphasis on safety, efficacy, and quality, resulting in a more sophisticated regulatory framework put in place. Now, we will cover all these exciting knowledge in this course. Even as we speak, the pharma industry hasn't stopped a single day during COVID lockdown and um, now during phase three. In fact, we have seen an increase in output because of the global demands for drugs and vaccines during the pandemic. We don't just manufacture for ourselves, we manufacture for the world. While the rest of the economy is powering down, the pharmaceutical industry is powering up. With all that said, the pharmaceutical science degree program is the only one of such kind in Singapore. The mission of our program is undergirded by a firm foundation in bioorganic and medicinal chemistry and human medical sciences. This addresses the discovery phase of the industry. The depth of knowledge and intricacies of the industry will be covered by the pharmaceutical science niche that is unique in our program. This is delivered by our team of professors and industry leaders. Our industry leaders make sure we stay relevant and ahead of the curve. Also, we value the versatility that comes with the program by equipping graduates with life skills, experiential learning opportunity that maximizes employability in diverse careers, also beyond the pharmaceutical industry. So how do farm science modules interface with the CHS curriculum? As a recap, the CHS curriculum will comprise one third common curriculum one third major and one third unrestricted electives. As a major department, we will provide 15 modules in essential areas of pharmaceutical science that will give you a head start to the industry. On top of that, students can decide if they want a more broad based or specialized experience. And you probably have seen how uh, the CHS curriculum will allow you to choose between uh, being a versatilist, an integrator, or a deep specialist. So whether the intention is to be a versatilist or integrator who works in the private sector or a deep specialist who pursues a doctorate, 
we will provide the guidance to our students towards the desired pathways. As a visual to help you imagine your journey in the CHS, here is a sample study plan that shows the scheduling of modules in the core curriculum. The major program is highlighted in orange and unrestricted electives in gray. Now, if I were to show you how we will deliver the 15 major modules in our program, this would be how it looks like. The knowledge is carefully scaffolded from a basic foundation of drug action to deeper levels of drug design to drug formulation and regulation, etc. We understand that there are many choices of majors in the university, so we must tell you our unique features that are worth for you to consider when you make your decision. First, we have small class size. Second, because of the small class size, we are able to use modern pedagogy of which team-based and blended learning is focused on problem solving and not rote learning. And third, we are focused on internship learning. Let me elaborate each of these uh, hallmarks in the next few slides. So, what is it like to step into a farm science class? First, you will see small class size. You will see about 40 to 50 classmates. The small class size allows everyone to be familiar with each other. You will be working mostly in teams and not alone. We call this collaborative team-based learning. This will prepare you for the same type of collaborative culture that is central to the pharmaceutical industry. Team-based learning is a strong feature whereby students will stay with the team for a year and learn to fulfill tasks in a team. Secondly, it also allows deeper dialogue between students and instructors. And after one year, we pretty much know every student by name and profiled and can facilitate the learning more directly and longitudinally. Our instructors will use the integrative learning approach not by teaching subjects such as biology and chemistry in isolation, like in junior college, but we will design problems to drive active learning and inculcate the discipline of self-directed learning. We will also emphasize on problem-solving skills and modular contents are reorganized to help students see the hypothetical problems that they are working towards. And to make it real, Students will be guided to include experiential learning, which is credited internships, and it could be as long as three months to six months. This exposure will give students a head start in networking with key personnel in the industry, and as, at the same time, fulfilling uh, graduation requirements. They will also have the chance to see how real world problems are solved with the knowledge and skills that they have. We believe firmly in integrated knowledge as in higher learning, problems become more complex and we need to be comfortable with problem solving with different tools and information. How will integrated knowledge look like? The suite of modules for the major on closer look will not be topics or subjects in silos like what you're familiar with, for example, chemistry, physics, biology, but rather systematically weaved so that you will have a framework to approach real life problems. For the first year, you will be introduced to three modules that will have what we call the ABC elements of analysis, biology, and chemistry. These three foundational modules will then prepare you for deep pharmaceutical science knowledge in the next levels. The first module focuses on the central theme of drug receptor, drug target interactions. We will integrate chemistry and biology knowledge to help you understand the chemistry of the molecules of life and how drugs can affect an action by working on the molecules of life. In the second module, we will integrate analysis and chemistry and the central focus now is the drug itself. We will focus on the physical chemical properties of drugs. We will teach you how to synthesize drugs using different chemical reactions and how to identify and analyze them 
not just for chemistry sake, but also in compliance to standards required for the pharma industry. And finally, in the third module, we will look at the macromolecules or the biomolecules, understanding their synthesis, identification, and characterization for the biopharma industry. You might also want to know that even though our course is very young, we started in 2018, but to date, almost all of our students in the first batch has experienced internships in places spanning from the big pharma, startups and SMEs, upcoming digital health setups and research institutes. Our internship placements have been successful in part due to our close connections with industry and proven track record of our high quality students. I would also like to encourage you to refer to our Facebook post of testimonials of our pioneer batch of students um, and they have shared how they feel about the program. And I'm almost near to the end of my talk and you must be wondering if you graduate with pharmaceutical science, what then are the surprising careers that you can expect to be options for you? Here on this slide, I have listed a number of surprising job functions that we have discovered with each intern that we successfully place in the company. Again, to stress, these are not functions that we have dreamed up, but job functions that our students have undertaken for real in the companies. Do you know these jobs even exist? With a pharmaceutical science degree, enhanced career options such as these will be available to students when they graduate. I've come to the end of my talk and I would like to leave you with five hallmarks of our program. First, it is a four-year direct admission honors degree. Second, the course is flexible and student-centric. Third, it is interdisciplinary, integrative, yet niche. So you can stand out in the crowd with arsenal of pharmaceutical science knowledge. And fourth, we are big on experiential learning. And fifth, with our track record and internship placement so far, you can potentially gain entry into many surprising careers in the pharmaceutical industry. Thank you for listening, and I will be happy to take any questions you have.